Hello and welcome to video lesson 3. In this lesson we will look at the similarities and differences between animal and plant cells. Before we begin you will need to have your notebook and pen ready. All organisms are composed of one or more cells. Cells are the basic unit of life and structure and new cells are created from existing cells. This is called cell theory. Pause the video here and copy the information on the slide into your notebook. Both animal and plant cells have many parts or as scientists call them organelles. Here you can see some examples. Let's look at some of these organelles in more detail. The nucleus is like the brain of the cell. It controls what the cell does. Pause the video here and copy the information on the slide. Cytoplasm is a bit like jelly and it is where the chemical reactions in a cell take place. Pause the video here and copy the information on the slide. The cell membrane is like a skin that surrounds the cell. It also lets things into and out of the cell, such as food and water. Pause the video and copy the information on the slide. Animal and plant cells share some of the same organelles, nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. Pause the video and copy the information on the slide. Yes, please copy the diagrams. Plant cells have different organelles to animal cells, such as cell wall, vacuole and chloroplast. Let's look at these in detail. The cell wall surrounds a cell membrane and it is made up of cellulose. Pause the video here and copy the information on the slide. The vacuole takes up a large area of the cell and contains cell sap. Pause the video and copy the information. Chloroplasts are green because they contain a chemical called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is needed by plants in order to produce their own food or energy. And this is something that we've looked at last term. Pause the video and copy the information. In this video, we looked at the similarities and differences between plant and animal cells. In the next video, we will look at more cell organelles.